The Ring of Fire is an arc of volcanoes spanning from New Zealand up the eastern edge of Asia, across the Aleutian Islands to Alaska, and finally down the coast of both North and South America. It is one of the most geologically active areas in the world. In a word, this chain of mountains is huge. The ring contains 75% of the world's volcano, both active and dormant. In reality, however, it is more of a horseshoe of fire, but that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. However, there are a few volcanoes in Antarctica that do close the ring, but they are rarely included in the discussion, simply because they are so scattered compared to the rest of the ring. Altogether, the mountains cover 25,000 miles, and it is composed of 452 volcanoes. The Ring of Fire was formed how any other mountain range would be formed, by plate tectonics and plates crashing into each other. Many of these boundaries are convergent boundaries, where two tectonic plates smack into each other, creating a subduction zone and allowing magma to reach the surface, which over millions of years creates a volcano. Since there, are a lot of, since there are a lot of active volcanoes, you can be sure there will be plenty of seismic activity. In fact, about 81% of the world's largest earthquakes have occurred along the Ring of Fire, including the largest earthquake ever recorded, which topped out the Richter scale at 9.5 magnitude. Uh, this happened in Chile on May 22nd in 1960. Although there are a lot of risks associated with volcanoes, many people live among them. Why? Well, it's simple. These mountains play host to some truly breathtaking landscapes. The Ring of Fire is made, of a, made up of a few famous mountain ranges. In South America, the Nazca Plate is colliding with the South American Plate and has created the Andes Mountains, which stretch all the way down the coast of South, South America. Its tallest mountain is Mount Aconcagua, which stands at 22,837 feet. In the Pacific Northwest and British Columbia, the Juan de Fuca Plate and Gorda Plate have smashed together to create the Cascade Mountain Range, which makes its way down the west coast of the U.S. The tallest mountain is Mount Rainier, which stands at 14,411 feet. But it's not just mountain ranges. If you look at the map, you will also notice a lot of deep trenches that run fairly parallel with the high mountains. One of these trenches is the Mar Mariana Trench in the western portion of the Pacific Ocean in which a plate topped by oceanic crust is being subducted underneath another plate topped by oceanic crust. Uh, the trench is 36,201 feet deep, making it deeper than Mount Everest is tall by about 7,200 feet. All in all, the Ring of Fire is chock full of geographic beauties and oddities. From tall volcanoes to deep, deep trenches, the Ring of Fire has it all.